What is it like when you keep hearing yourself compared to Will Chamberlain? First of all, you can't compare that. He's, he's on another level, you know, but just uh, being in, in, in you know, that same streak and the same records, um, the first person that has done it since Will, it's like we're, 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 we're getting to something. Right? That's what you work hard for, that's what you play for. Obviously, you play, you know, in championships and all that great stuff, but it's pretty cool, you know, when it's all said and done and you're, you know, you're retired and, you know, well off, you know, it's you're in that, that, that category. Will Chamberlain was indeed the most dominant player ever. To say who is the greatest, um, we would never know that. I mean, in, in my eye, Will Chamberlain is the greatest basketball player. If I were to score 100 points, it would probably be me, a bunch of bursts, a bunch of preschoolers. I mean, 100 points, it's, it's hard to fathom that. It's hard to put it into words, uh, just how impressive that is. It was never going to be broken. But when I was going to do that, I would ask myself, was he playing by himself, or was he playing against the other five guys in the other team? You see now all the records that guys are trying to break it down. Will Chamber is always the first name on the list, so it's like, Behind the scenes, a lot, dominated the game for a long time. Will Chamberlain is the only Superman to ever play the game. His records are hilarious. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you know, anybody they talk about doing something, Will yeah. Chamberlain has done it hundreds of times. So, so no Jordan, no LeBron for you. You got Will Chamberlain. Yeah, Will Chamberlain, Russell. Yeah. You know, Jordan is up there too, well deserved. LeBron, I don't think, is right there with those guys. One of the most dominant forces we ever had in our game, along with Shaq. Um, one of the greatest Lakers that ever played a game. 100 point score. Um, one of the greatest scores, rebounders ever. So just dominant in all, in all walks of life, not only just basketball, but just good. He cast the shadow over our game, the shadow of accomplishment uh, that will never be achieved by another player. Why is it that we don't recognize Wilt Chamberlain? It feels like, you know, we recognize Babe Ruth, a mythical type figure, that he was hitting more home runs than teams were. You know, he was Babe Ruth. We don't look at Wilt Chamberlain the same way. And Babe did this in the 20s. Wilt was doing this in the 60s and early part of the 70s. And he put up incredible numbers. When the, the topic comes up, greatest players of all time, Wilt Chamberlain's name never Oh, really doesn't. He didn't win enough, but he was going against the Celtics every single year. But he averaged 50.4 points a game in a season. <laughs> so he got 50 every single night. But it was never enough with Will Chamberlain. Never. We have looked at Will Chamberlain like this anomaly who he, like we sort of made him up. We do not acknowledge Will Chamberlain. We have forgot about him. And he's one of the most athletic players who's ever played the game. He led the league in assists. He led the league in field goal percentage. Led the league in block shots. He led the, he, whatever you wanted him to do, he was gonna do. Listen, we gotta get out the record book. And I'm sorry, Wilt has to be in there. With all deference to yeah. Bill Russell in the winning, the man right. averaged, I don't care what era, right. he averaged 50 and 25. For Correct. Him. He's got to be on Mount Rushmore. And people complained about him scoring so much, he led the league. Look at assists. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> like, there's been I'm no okay one like that. him. And you can't even argue Whoa. by the numbers. Wilt Chamberlain, yes. the most dominant player yes. ever in this game. Wilt was unbelievable. He was really a superlative athlete, and I think is really lost on people uh, these days because they don't see that very often. People looked at him differently, but this was this was more than just some some big guy who dunked the basketball and uh, ran up and down the court. This was a true athlete, and his physical prowess was unbelievable. Uh, you know, you hear players compare players in certain eras, and uh, I would love to see him play against some of these centers today. It would it would. It would be pretty embarrassing for them to be candid with you. First of all, you're, you're never going to say he's the greatest of all time. I never played against Will Chamberlain. To now say that you know one's greater than the other is being a little bit you know, unfair. I won six championships. Bill Russell won 11. Does that make Bill Russell better than me and make me better than him? No, because we play at different eras. 
So when you try to equate who's the greatest of all time, it's an unfair parallel, it's an unfair choice. Michael's the greatest two guard to ever play the game and one of the most exciting players to ever put on a uniform. But to say that he's the greatest player ever and that he was a greater player than Will Chamberlain is ludicrous. I mean, it's ludicrous. There's no one, no one that is close to what Will Chamberlain did in his career. Will, uh, there will never be anybody like they, they always say that about Michael. They always say that about other players. But there will never, ever be another Will Chamberlain. Everybody's always saying that he played against short people. But like looking at his videos and stuff, like, like he was so freaking athletic. Like he would have been able to play in any era, era like jump over anybody. I mean, he has all the records, and I don't think they're ever going to be beaten. I don't see anybody getting 100 points in the game. That's it. He's so good.